The debut album from the French DJ producer and rapper DJ Snake has finally seen the light of day after three years of dropping singles across the globe and achieving a fair amount of notoriety and popularity. His album, entitled Encore, comes complete with the expected slew of guest features including the likes of Justin Bieber, Travis Scott, Jeremiah, Young Thug, Skrillex and so on and so forth. Although having been behind some pretty solid tracks in the past, it really does come off as quite a shame that the majority of the album doesn't quite live up to the expectation. For the most part, the guest features don't necessarily leave much of an impression. Many of them are capable of much better than what's delivered here and the most ironic thing is is that the more appealing tracks are the ones where DJ Snake takes the reins and the vocals are kept to a minimum. The tracks where this is the case are Sahara featuring Skrillex, Kigali featuring Moxie, Propaganda the only track that features no guest artists at all and Ocho Cinco featuring Yellow Claw. But that's not to say that there aren't any guest artists with accompanying vocals that don't impress on the album. Although quite cliched in topic the track Sober with guest feature JRY is quite poignant. Our lead vocalises his uncertainty as to whether his other half feels the way for him as he does for her and just when he's about to drop his line of questioning he comes to the realisation that it's the drink that brings them together and take that away there's nothing there. And Let Me Love You sees Bieber sticking to what he's been doing recently declaring his desire to keep this relationship that he's got with this other person alive despite all the doubt that his significant other is showing. The two should fight on and not give up so easily. But there are some moments that don't leave much to be impressed by. George Maple shows up on the track Talk where he voices his frustrations over his love interest's lack of desire to get physical with him. You see, she just wants to talk with him and all he wants to do is bang. I know. How dare she? The half where Jeremiah, Young Thug and Swiss Beats shows up with the song essentially being a bragging track with Jeremiah possessing all the charm and appeal of a natural disaster saying that he'll willingly treat some guy's woman like a car in one line saying that he'll smash then get with another one and Young Thug? <sighs> All I'll say is this, thank Christ for Still Brazy because he's off point here big time. And the track for life with G Forshi as guest feature is without a doubt the worst track on the album. It's another one of these rise from the dredges of life track where G Forshi tries so desperately to come off as sympathetic and wants you to admire him. But if you thought that Jeremiah's feature was unbearable, take that and multiply it by a hundred and that's what G Forshi's feature feels like in comparison. Now to the instrumentation and with DJ Snake you know what you're gonna get. The entirety of this album is EDM with a mix of trap, hip hop and pop and has varying results. As mentioned the songs where the vocals are kept to a minimum or there are none are by far the best. Sahara starts off with this stormy atmospheric Arabian vibe before Skrillex's hand comes in with his usual brand of high pitched warbles. Now I'm in no way a fan of this guy but I'd be lying if I said that I didn't find some enjoyment in his contribution. It definitely adds another dynamic to the song. Bigali is a highly enjoyable piece of dance music full of trap influenced bits and pieces and builds up to a heavy payoff that does what it says on the tin. Propaganda contains more trap elements consistently throughout and the synths and electronic percussion is outright schizophrenic. It's truly glorious to listen to for me. And Ocho Cinco goes for a more smoother synth approach to start off with before letting loose with head banging beats that embrace its noisy appeal. These are obvious club bangers and in my opinion they all work terrifically. And I think why that is, is because of the lack of vocal inclusion because sometimes meshing the vocals together with the production can produce some very lacklustre results. Whilst Let Me Love You isn't bad per se, the lack of emotional deliverance from Bieber plus the instrumentation which sounds like a rejected lean on wannabe is pretty mundane. The last track, Here Comes the Light featuring Mr Hudson is fine with its light synth pieces but let's be honest here, Mr Hudson? Really? Middle featuring Bipolar Sunshine is quite jittery, fine but the inclusion of warbled voice effects plus the fact that Bipolar Polar cannot hold a note whatsoever makes this song pretty tough to get through and even when he shows up again on future part 2. Look mate, no amount of auto tune will ever convince anyone that you have any vocal abilities outside of sounding like a robot and not even Travis Scott and Migos can salvage oh me oh my but that's largely down to there being no real indication that DJ Snake contributed anything to this song. It's all trap heavy and that's pretty much it. Overall the album is not entirely a bust but it certainly does leave a lot to be desired. It does miss a fair amount of personality from its guest features and there's nothing here that really gives off a smash hit vibe and considering the success this guy has had recently that's honestly quite surprising to say the least. As I've said the parts where it's almost or purely instrumentation the album's at its strongest but for the most part Encore is either distinctly average or distinctly disappointing. Overall I score this album a 63 out of 100.